Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Yari Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 iPhone settings that you should actually use on your iPhone. These are settings that are actually very, very useful, but just a few people know about them and use them daily on their iPhone. These settings will help you a lot while using your iPhone on a daily basis. So here are 15 very useful iPhone settings that you probably don't know about. When you're sending someone a message with your iPhone, you probably know that there are two different types of messages. An iMessage, which you can send to a friend that has an iOS device, which is the one with the blue bubble. But then you also have the green bubble messages. Those are regular SMS messages that you send to someone that doesn't have an iOS device, doesn't have iMessage. So those messages have actually a character limit. You can only send 160 characters within a message. So you can see right here, if I just start typing right there, it will show me the characters right there, how many are available and how many of them I have typed. By default, those won't be shown. But what you need to do is go to your settings app and then go to messages. Once you go to messages, you will find here SMS, MMS, you will have there basically that field where you can enable the character count and you will see there the amount of characters that you have already entered with that message so you don't exceed the limit of 160 characters. And you can also enable subject field. So you can see right here, I also have the subject. So I can write message there and the subject of the message right there. So if you want to enable the subject of the message, you can do that from the settings app just by enabling it here. When you go to your settings and you go to your cellular data, you will have here a list of all the apps that have used your cellular data. And you will also see how much cellular data each of the app is using. But did you know that right here we'll also find a field that says system services. Now if you tap on it, it will show you all the amount of data that your system services have used from notifications to Siri to software updates, the time and location, iCloud, all that stuff will be listed right here. And you will see which system service is using more of your data. When you open your settings app at the top of the settings, you will have your profile there. So if you tap on your profile and you go to find my, then right here will have an option to use the current iPhone that you're using as a location for the find my app. So this is basically useful if you get like a new iPhone and you want to use that as your location for the find my app, then just go ahead and tap right there and you will be able to use that device as your current location. On the Safari settings, there is an option which is very useful if you use Safari a lot to browse. So what you can do here is go to Safari and go to the tabs field and then you will have here open links. Now if you go here, you can choose to open links in a new tab or in the background. So if you're browsing something and then you go ahead and tap on the link, it will open that link in the background and won't pop it up on a new tab in front of you. You can still keep they're basically browsing on the same tab, but the other one will be opened already in the background. On the same section on the Safari settings, you will also find a button that says advanced. If you tap on it, you will see right here another button that says website data. And if you go here, you will see all the data that different websites have stored on your device. This, of course, will take up space on your device. You can click right here, remove all website data if you just want to clear basically your Safari and clear all that space from your device. Now, if you do don't do this for a long time, there will be a lot of data right here. You can see at the top, you will have the total amount of data that is being basically used by these websites on your device. Just go ahead and tap remove all and your device will be cleared out of these datas. If you use do not disturb a lot on your device, then these settings will help you a lot. You can schedule do not disturb to be automatically turned on. Just enable it right here and then you will have here basically two different times that you have to choose. The start time and the end time of the do not disturb. So these are like is these are called the quiet hours. You choose the quiet hours right here and then you're good to go. Do not disturb will be enabled and then also automatically disabled at the same time. 
and then just underneath it you will see dim lock screen now what this does is that it darkens your lock screen it won't show you notifications there just send them to the notification center while the do not disturb is enabled so you will be quiet no light popping up on the screen of your iphone if you go ahead and just enable this button right here next up we have a setting that is found under accessibility so go to accessibility go to touch and right here if you just scroll down you will see call audio routing now what this does is that it allows you to basically set where you want your calls to go on the bluetooth headset or the speaker or you can of course leave it on automatic but if you have a preference a specific preference like let's say speaker you want to always basically ask for on speaker you can go ahead and just choose it right there and every time you get a call it will automatically go on speaker you don't have to do that manually and also you have here auto ask for calls you can enable that right here and then you can set after how many seconds of basically the call coming in you want it to be automatically answered you can set that using these buttons right here now one of the best features of the iphone one of my favorite features is of course the predictive text on the keyboard of your iphone but if you're using your iphone for a long time basically the keyboard will learn what you type and you the words that you use and all that but what if you want to delete basically that history that the keyboard has already learned from you and you can do that by going to settings go to general and then go all the way down here to reset right here we'll find a button that says reset keyboard dictionary what this does is basically br bring your keyboard to point zero everything that it has learned from you all the input that you have done will be basically deleted and it will start all over from fresh now with iOS 13, Apple has brought Memoji stickers and it actually has added them to the keyboard. So if you don't use them, you hate them or for any reason you don't want to see them on the keyboard of your iPhone, just go to settings, go to general, and then go to keyboard, scroll all the way down and right here we'll have a button that says Memoji stickers. You can go ahead and basically disable them from here once you have turned that off it will automatically remove all of them from the keyboard of your iphone now under the general settings you will also find a setting that says language and region now if you go here you will see all different like things that you use on your region like if you go right here you can see the temperature unit you can change the temperature unit that is being used on your iphone from here so you can choose fahrenheit or celsius directly from here of course you will have the calendar you can choose between different calendars here if you don't want to use the basically the stock one and then you can also have the languages here if you go to other you can go ahead and add other languages to your iphone from the language and region settings of your iphone now a very useful feature on the iPhones, especially on the bigger ones, is the reachability view. So reachability basically will bring your screen down just like this so you can better or easier reach at the top of the screen if you're using your iPhone with one hand. Now to enable that, go to accessibility, go to touch, and right here we'll find reachability. Just make sure you enable it, and then on the iPhones with no home button, all you have to do is just swipe down basically on that home button home bar right there and you will be able to invoke the reachability view and the last two settings are also found under the accessibility section so if you go to accessibility scroll all the way down you will find here siri now this is very useful if you don't like to speak to siri you just don't like doing it you can just go ahead and enable type to siri then whenever you enable siri you can just type to it you don't have to talk anything it will be basically the same thing so siri will be the same the only change here is that you're typing anything you want to ask you're not saying it with your voice and then you also have a new option that apple has recently added called always listen for hey siri now if you use siri a lot and you want it always to be ready for you to to use it just go ahead and enable it right here and then hey siri will all the time be active whether when are your whenever your iphone is in your pocket or laying down with face down on a table it will always be active so that is it for this video guys these are 15 iphone settings that are very useful and you're probably not even using them on your device i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something new from this video 
Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys on the next one.